welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy. All right, the workout today is going to be an upper body bi muscle group. So I'm gonna break it down into chest, back, biceps, triceps, and shoulders. We're gonna work in that 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. I'm gonna try and lift in hypertrophy, which is in that 10 to 12 rep range. So I'll go a little bit heavier and lift a little bit slower. Grab a variety of dumbbells, you'll need that for the workout today. I'll also use my bench, but you can use the floor if you don't have one, or a Swiss ball would work as well. All right, we'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. If you're looking for a lower body tomorrow, click or tap the card at the top of the screen and do that one. All right, let's build that upper body and move daily. All right, I'm hitting strength on my watch here. Let's get started right here. Big circle. Now, I'm gonna try and lift in that hypertrophy range like I said, so in the first round, switch directions, I'm gonna try and leave maybe three, four reps left in reserve, which means I could have done three or four more reps. In the second round, switch sides, I'll leave two to three reps in reserve. In the last round, I'm gonna try and challenge myself, switch directions, to go where I have zero to one reps left in reserve, meaning all I could do if I really pushed myself was one more rep. Both hands here. All right, that's gonna help fatigue the muscle, bring us to that failure point, which really helps with hypertrophy and muscle growth. Switch directions. All right, front and back bends here. Knees are soft. Two more here. If you just woke up, this will feel good. Reach across, tap it out. And up and over. Let's do some rotation right here. Bring that elbow across. Squat overhead reach. Right there. Swing those arms. One more here. Take it wide. Open in the chest. Good, all right, let's just shoot. All right, and there we go. Are you ready to get started? There's the first sequence by muscle group. We're starting with chest. Starting with that circle chest press, I'm gonna grab my 15s on your back or on your bench, flat bench though. Okay, start with palms facing your chin. You're gonna turn away, create a circle with the butts of the dumbbell. Here we go. So it's low, turn and face away. All right, so touching the tops of the dumbbells and then at the bottom, hitting the other side of the dumbbells to create that circle. Very good. All right, I'm going into that push-up. 
I'm gonna do a stacked push up where I'm balancing my feet on top. You can mod from the knees, you can do a stacked, you can do a regular. Here we go. my single side chest press. I'm going to grab a 20. I'll call halfway and we'll switch sides. You're going to stay on the one side. Don't swivel your hips. Here we go. Slow and control over the chest. for that circle chest press. Stay over the chest. that I'm doing, so that's perfect. I could have probably done two or three more there. Let's go into those push-ups. Side press. I'm gonna stick with my 20 here. That felt like work last time. All right, I'll pull half. Nice and controlled. If you're on a bench, you're, you're gonna feel like you wanna tilt your pelvis or counterbalance. Really put your mind in your chest here. One more on this side, and switch. Okay, good, round three. 
I had to try my 25s. This is gonna be work, but I'll go slow. When you're ready. down to those push-ups. These are going to be hard. I'll be modifying, I'm sure. And work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a hard transition. Very good. All right, shake that out. Good work on the chest, and you're moving to back next. One arm row is what we're starting with, and I'll start with my 20. I'll call half. If you don't have something to prop yourself up on, you're right here, hand on the knee. Otherwise, super flat back. Here we go. Drive that elbow to the ceiling. Last one here, switch your side. Okay, going into that dumbbell pullover. You can do this on the floor, off the side of your bench, or lengthwise. I'll start with the 20 here. Create that diamond with your arms. And then your slow, two, three, and flex at the top. Mind in those lat muscles, those long back muscles. Lengthen, then shorten and contract.
Going into that wide row. And grab a 15 for this. Not quite as strong with this muscle since we do hit a little bit of rear delt on this as well. You're pulling it out to the side. I'll call half. So you're here. Good. Up to 90 on the elbow and directly out to the side in that lateral plane. One more here and switch your side. Okay, I'll just show a front view here if you need to see. Up to 90. No swinging at the bottom. Good. Round two, I'm grabbing my 25. Okay. One arm row. Two to three reps left in reserve. Nice flat back. Sides. I'm in that 10 rep range here. Nice. Dumbbell pullover. I'll stick with that 25 as well right here. Creating that diamond. Slow on the descent. Switch sides. Woo. 
does work. I'll stick with this 30 for my pullover. Okay, get into position. Shall we? I'm starting with a single side military press. I'll call halfway. I'm going to start with my 15. Nice and tall. You can sit or stand for this. Whatever your pleasure. I'm going to lean against my upright bench. Here we go. Right to 90 and press. Now, don't lean. Okay, when you're trying to get that weight up, stay tall. Switch your hand. Nice. Moving to a lateral raise, I'm going to use my eight. Okay, to the side. Okay, thumb is slightly up, shoulders back. Turn, palms are going to be up. You're going to start wide and then you're going to come closer together. Again, I'll stick with those eights. These are soft, slow on the descent. Up here and slow control. Thank you. 
gonna move to a 20 with my military press. Okay, Whew. round two. Nice and tall, I'll call half. Halfway, switch sides. Whew. That was hard. That was heavy. I think I'll probably end up doing that on my third round as well. I don't think I can go much heavier. All right, back to your laterals. I'll stick with eights this round. I'm gonna try tens on the last. Stick your chest out. That seems heavy enough for my one sore shoulder. All right, let's do what you can on this one. Switching sides. Oh, mercy. <laughs> Got nine aside there. Oh, that was work. I'm gonna try the 10 on my lateral raise here. Let's take my time, just get it slow. These are soft.
All right, one more with the front raise. Uh, maybe I'll try 12s. We'll see. And if I can get 10 in, that would be good. Engage the core. Take your chest out. position. So you're here. Squeeze at the top. Elbows stay close to the sides. Remember, you do have tennis elbow. You want to make sure you have a good meaty grip of your dumbbell. Don't let the dumbbell slip to your fingertips as that can exacerbate the tendon in your elbows. Okay, tendons. So, good grip. Stay seated with your concentration curl. I'll stick with a 12, I think, for round one. I'll call halfway. You're crossing the body, flexing at the top here. Keep that shoulder still. It's a little light, but I know the volume with these three different exercises and three sets, it's gonna, <laughs> my biceps are gonna feel this in a few seconds. So I'm gonna stick with the 12. Switch sides. Palms up, bicep curl standing. All right, nice and tall. Palms face the ceiling and elbows stay nice and close to your sides here. These are soft. I'm gonna grab my 15s for my hammer curl, round two. I'm gonna work in that 12 rep range here now. So I'll take an extra break if the buzzer hasn't buzzed. Here we go.
my 12. Whew. Ah, that was hard. All right, staying seated, I'm gonna grab a 12 for my concentration curls. Oh, oh, feeling the pump. I'll call half. And work. Switch sides. Okay, whew, only nine there. That's fine though, that's good. I mean, if you wanted to pause the uh, video and finish out rep range, feel free. I'm gonna go back to 12s here, palms up. Well for me, oh, all right, round three. That is work. I'm gonna stick with 15s. That felt like work enough on this guy. Do what you can. I'm gonna aim for 12. Elbows in. Okay, Ooh, five seconds, keep going if you can. Ooh. <clears throat> oh, my biceps are pumped. All right, I'm gonna do concentration curl with 15 again. <laughs> I can barely lift right now, here we go. I'll go slow and controlled, focusing on flexing at the top here. More here. Come on. Oh, mercy. Yeah, that is no reps left. Switching sides. Exercise. I think I'll go with 15s. I may only get eight reps in, we'll see. But I'm gonna challenge my muscles as much as I can. here. Oh my god. Oh. 
Okay, keep going. Wow, I only got 10 in, that was good, that was hard. Floaty arm syndrome. You've got triceps next, so shake it out, rest if you need, and draw me back on the last circuit. I'm starting with that shallow overhead extension. Really long, okay? I really wanna lengthen that long head of the tricep. So press up, down, and shallow overhead. On your bench or back, palms facing, I've got 12s. So you're up, down, big reach, and return. Up, down, shallow, overhead, return.
right into your kickback. I will stick with the 10. So you can always pause for longer up there. I'll call half, elbow high. And kick and pause. Switch sides. into that tape, press, switch weights if you need, Whew. arms are fried, fried, here we go, physio wants me to do all the time. You know, when you're working at a desk, you do have that slight anterior rotation of the front shoulder, which shortens the pec muscles right here and can cause hunching in the upper back or even pain in the upper back. And stretching out those pec muscles are really important. Let's even link our hands behind, stretch the chest, 
tilt the neck to one side and kind of look your eyes up to the ceiling here. Yeah, I wish I was just slightly better at my physio exercises, switch sides here. <laughs> you know, you think about them and then they're like, oh, that's kind of tedious. You just kind of put them on the back burner, but it's all those little stretches and movements that really do help. Let's bring the arm across. Um, you know, lengthen out the areas that are targeted. And for me, that front shoulder, I do have that calcified tendon on this right side here. So he wants me to do a lot of rotator cuff, eccentric rotator cuff work. So basically, in essence, you're pulling a band out and you're slow, two, three, four on the back. <laughs> Time consuming, right? But it's necessary. That's the thing. Let's hinge forward at the waist. Hand on your quad, grab the other side of your leg and reach up, push your thumb to the ceiling, stretch those biceps. This was a good strength workout today. Uh, not a lot of calories will be burned in the workout because you're not doing a high cardiovascular, especially when you're focusing on upper body, right? But this is how you build strength and muscle in the upper body is hitting those repetitions, okay, multiple sets. Uh, isolating a muscle group. So think about how much volume we put on each. We had nine sets per muscle group. That's great. And they say that volume's the driver for hypertrophy. So anywhere between 10 and 15 sets. So if some other time in this week, switch sides, you could hit a few more exercises per muscle group. I mean, you could even repeat this whole workout at the end of the week. But I would say in like two days from now, three days from now, hit another upper body and you'll be doing your upper body a great service by putting volume on uh, those muscles and causing muscle adaptation and growth. That's the name of the game. I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna do this. I just wanna stretch my upper back. So linking onto something, rounding through that upper back and my lat a little bit, pushing my hips back and switching sides. That feels really good. Hopefully you have something to hold on to. Couch, chair, pole. <laughs> a pole. Who has a pole in their living room? Probably not many. All right, folks. Thanks for joining. Go move daily in your wellness and nutrition. Keep building lean muscle, and I'll see you in the next workout.